Welcome, 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 welcome to the show. We've got such great tech and we've got so much new stuff for you today on the show. We're going to go to the US for taking you through what 3D printing has completely and totally done to this world, how it's really evolving, where the innovation comes, where the r and come, and what it's going to do to our lives. That's going to happen when we actually go down to the US for a very interesting segment on 3D printing. Then we're going to show you some incredible cars like... Oh my God, some of the most incredible things that you'll see. The best of Auto Expo, including JK Tires has something, including a tire that I never thought was possible. Imagine a tire that doesn't get punctured. I mean, that is the kind of innovation we saw out there. Then we're going to show you a lot more other great innovation happening. All of it happening on the show today. Why am I wasting time telling you all this? Let's get down to the stories. Let's get started. On the show today, we go to the heart of the music capital of the US and find out how 3D innovation is hitting very sweet notes there. We also check out the next wave in 3D printing and virtual reality. We also round up all the Hot Wheels action from Auto Expo that was held this year. And Panasonic lifts the curtains on its new IoT and AI platform for a connected home. All coming up on the show. I told you something brand new is happening and we're going to start off with a brand new segment where I get you tech news that really matters. It's really quick. It's what you and me really talk about. Let's see what made headlines in the world of tech this week. So as China grapples with the coronavirus, its next victim is, think about it, it's smartphones. Most smartphones in India in the affordable segment come in from Chinese brands. But as factories remain closed, no workers out there, the coronavirus is rampant. Phone stocks in India are dwindling. And these dwindling stocks only mean one thing, a higher price of smartphones in India and maybe not even enough stock. Analysts say prices of affordable smartphones might go up between 6 to 7 to 10 percent just in the next few weeks. Premium smartphones may not be affected much, but that also is a matter of time. If they don't get their hands on the solution for this, they could also get affected. Now, one of the most downloaded and used apps in the world, Instagram, has surprisingly never had its own iPad app. And finally, we have an answer to that. The founder of Instagram recently said that they have only so many people and so many things to do, and they have to prioritize what they have to work on. And clearly, an iPad OS app is not one of these. Surprise, surprise. So there you finally know. Instagram is meant for your phones. They intend to keep it that way. You've seen even on the desktop, Instagram really doesn't really work well. Okay, and now for a news that is not very surprising to hear. A study has said that using apps like Facebook and Instagram have made it much harder to recover from a breakup. I completely agree on this one. The journal that has published this study is the Proceedings of the ACM on Human-Computer Interaction. I know, sounds like a lot of jargon for something that should have been simpler. But they studied several people who had just broken up with their significant others and found that posts, memories, likes and even comments were factors in making the breakup even more difficult. The problem is that person just doesn't disappear from your life like it used to be earlier. So I told you our starting story, our top story is going to take you into the world of 3D printing. And Sanjana has gone all the way to a city which is all about music, all about incredible, incredible feelings. And I think the Salt Systems is hitting all the right notes. Am I right, Sanjana? The home to all of America's country music. This is Nashville and this is where I am. You see the beautiful skyscrapers behind me. The Tennessee River is right here. It's a cloudy day in Nashville in the United States. But I'm here for 3D Experience World 2020. And here's where we're going to take a look at softwares. We're going to take a look at very cool startups that are displaying their stuff here. But before that, we'll take a look at Nashville, the rock and roll city. Now this is where my musical journey in the city begins. I'm at the Nashville Music City Center where 3D Experience World 2020 is taking place. Now we will take a look at everything the Salt System is announcing right here. What are the big announcements? What have they come out with? And after that, we'll also take some look at very cool startups that have exhibited their products here and a lot of cool innovations with 3D printing and more. Nashville, a city where the electric vibe of the place is in the air, as is the sweet sound of music everywhere. 
In this city for music lovers, the Soul Systems hit all the sweet notes with their first ever 3D experience world. Carrying forward their 20-year legacy of SolidWorks World, the event was renamed to 3D Experience World this year and was dedicated to the 3D design and engineering community. More than 6,000 designers, engineers, entrepreneurs and business leaders came together to discuss, deliberate and present the next wave of innovation and technology when it comes to designing and manufacturing. The heart of this is the 3D Experience Works, the Sol Systems portfolio of digital applications on the 3D Experience platform for collaborative design to manufacturing. Technical sessions and hands-on workshop on 3D design and simulation were also held. And of course, bright startups from around the world and new innovations in 3D printing were at the helm of this. And so, with the name of the event changing this year, what else has changed for Dassault Systems? For a brand like uh, SolidWorks, changing the name of an iconic uh, event like uh, SolidWorks World into 3D Experience World was really momentous. The name was a signal, was a message, and the content is more important, the substance is more important. Our customers are very pragmatic, they are engineers, you know, so they wanted to go uh, and see what was behind the message and to see if there was substance. I believe they did find substance. We spent one year because we announced last year the change of the name. One qualm we can all agree when it comes to 3D printing is the fact that it uses so much plastic. But right here we found one company that's doing things very differently. So this is Gigabot, this is a 3D printer right here. It's a new one and what it does is it uses waste plastic to do their 3D printing. So in fact the bottle that I'm holding in my hand contains plastic pellets which can be fed in right here and then there's a 3D printed model that comes out from this. This is all waste plastic that goes into this and this is probably the only sustainable way really to do 3D printing. Sustainable 3D printing are words we never thought could be strung together. But RE3D is a company that does just that. It uses plastic pellets that are waste or flakes of plastic water bottles too. Here, this chair has been made entirely using reusable plastic and plastic found in the ocean. The plastic is added to the funnel on the top which then melts it at around 270 degrees Celsius on this Gigabot X machine by the company. Well, now I've got some real news for you. Take a look at 3D printed food. That's right, this is 3D printed sushi. But I'm just kidding, this is not edible. I would die if I would eat plastic right now. But of course, this is the Stratasys stall where they've come out with a new 3D printer that does things a little differently. What it does do is it's like inkjet printing. So it does droplets of plastic and then like a coat to 3D print it, which gives it real finesse. So what this allows is very realistic looking textures and materials. So this is actually not wood, this is still plastic. This is for companies to take out their prototypes and show us different kind of products that are possible. But for now, my 3D printed sushi platter. Stratasys has launched its new J826 printer at the 3D Experience World. And this does things very differently. Like actual inkjet printing, this 3D printer uses polyjet materials to make a full range of color, texture and even transparency in products. This machine is considered to be a little more affordable at $1,75,000 and is ideal for companies to take out their prototypes using this simply because of its versatility. But moving away from 3D printing to actually visualizing objects and even getting into them, meet Vario's latest range of VR headsets each revolutionizing the way virtual reality is done. This VR2 Pro, for example, comes with a hand tracking feature. So at the flick of your wrist, you can expand objects, step into them and use your hands as controls while wearing the headset. The newer XR1 is a mixed reality headset where photorealistic objects are literally mixed with reality and the world around you. We couldn't tell the real world apart from the virtual while wearing this headset and taking a Volvo driving demo with it here. Virtual reality is hitting new frontiers and Vario is at the forefront with high-tech headsets that the company keeps coming out with. 3D Experience World was full of startups strutting their innovative product, having either designed or manufactured it using the 3D Experience platform. We will take a look at some of those and even maybe jet set off with them on the next episode.
And from there, we're going to travel to a whole new place, Greater Noida, where the Auto Expo took place. So from 3D printing and the great innovation out there to automotive technology and great stuff out there. I started my journey at JK Tires and see one of the most interesting things that happened out there. Tire technology also has so much of tech built in. So this is the Auto Expo 2020 and I start my journey not from a typical car or a vehicle or an electric vehicle. I'm starting where technology really, really plays a big part, but you don't know about it. And that is, I'm starting off from JK Tires because the amount of tech I've found in tires, I may not have even found it in cars. I'm going to give you examples because you must be skeptical right now. How is that even possible? This is a tire that has been specially formulated for an electrical vehicle. We'll show you more. Let's move on now. This is where things get really, really interesting. So most people think of a tire as just a tire made out of rubber. But that's not really how a tire is made. A tire is called a compound because there are multiple chemicals that go inside to make a tire. Now, if you can get those compounds, those chemicals, to actually have the right mix, the right amount of stuff inside, you can create a puncture-resistant tire. And yes, this smart tire has the entire kit. It's called Treel by JK Tires, and each of the car tires in your vehicle, it can be any, it could be a truck, it could be a car, it could be a two-wheeler. You just put this, it's retrofitted in, and it's very simple to put it. There's a small strap, and then you just put it in. It's inside this tire right now. So first, I'm gonna show you all these three tires and what they can do. Remember, this is technology inside tires, something we never thought was possible. JK Tires took Hot Wheels to a whole new level at the Auto Expo this year. The company showcased exciting concept tires, including puncture-proof tires with unique sealants, a colored tire to spruce up your ride, a specific electric vehicle tire and a fuel saver tire. JK Tires also showcased their smart tire this time, called Treel. It's a cloud-based monitoring system on the health of a tire, including pressure and temperature. Users can track this information using the Treel Care app in real time. JK Tires claims issues that can be detected with tires can usually leave the car with a higher fuel efficiency of up to 4 to 5 percent. The smart tire technology is compatible with any car, bike, or even trucks. So, as I walk through the Auto Expo, one of the things that I'm starting to realize is there is so much I can show you. But of course, there's almost no time to do the entire show from here. So, here's what I'm going to do. So, from here, the Skoda Vision, which of course is one of the more interesting looking cars. And this is not a concept or prototype. This is something that should be coming out from them very, very soon. From this to everything else, let's take a quick look at all the very, very interesting things that I found here at the Auto Expo. Now remember, our vision out here, I'm taking from within the car's name, our vision here is to show you things that really, really take the frontier of technology and take that forward to a whole new level. So let's take a look. We'll start off here, we'll go to Tata, and then a whole lot more of the best of the best of the Auto Expo. Take a look. Concept cars dotted the biggest auto show in India this year. Auto Expo was buzzing with stunning cars and features too good to take a rise off. Skoda's vision in concept comes with sleek LED headlamps, chunky silver skid plates and a 12.3-inch customizable display inside. It looked every bit the stunner. Tech in this car goes a long way with a virtual cockpit and a crystalline gear lever. Tata revealed its new 7-seater SUV, the Gravitas at Auto Expo this year. It looks a lot like the Harrier, but gets a new tail lamp design. Under the hood, it comes with a new e-parking brake feature. Hyundai launched the new Tucson at the Expo. This comes with a new front grille, 8-way passenger power seats, a wireless charger, a smart power tailgate and an 8-inch floating HD touchscreen. And it comes with voice recognition as well. Chinese automaker Haima, in collaboration with Bird Electric, is planning to launch their cars in India. They showcase the mid-size Haima 8S, the Haima 7X MVP and there's an EV2. The cars will be manufactured in Manisar, but there is no news yet on when it will officially launch in India.
We'll take a quick break right now, but remember, we're just getting started. So much more that I have to show you. And now let's move on to something that I believe is an absolute game changer. Panasonic has suddenly become one of those companies that really, really wants to change your lives. And the AC that they've launched off in India is that. It's got a lot of artificial intelligence built in, but not the gimmicky kind, the kind that actually learns from you. And ACs are something that really are one of the most important things that we actually base our lives on. I mean, summer around the corner now, winter done. It is going to be one of the most important devices that we're going to use. And if an AC can actually learn from the way your sleep patterns are, the number of people that are in a room, and can enhance your lives, then this is Panasonic doing something really incredible. Let's take a look at the product they've launched and we'll talk to the man behind it. Connect, control and use. Who doesn't like the ease of controlling home gadgets through their phone? Well, one company that's making this a breeze is Panasonic. Panasonic lifted the curtains on its very own AI-enabled platform called Mirai. This is a free app called Mirai Connected Living and it connects with the new IoT devices that Panasonic has launched as well. The app interface is like a dashboard for all appliances. So the new IoT AC for example can be switched on or off, the temperature can be changed and you can review the pollution levels around as well on the app. In the custom profile you can set an hourly temperature to ensure a good night's rest. Every appliance's warranty and other details on it can be seen through the app. Even spare parts or a servicing can be booked with a single tap on the app. And not just a smart AC, Panasonic also launched smart switches and plugs, so other appliances can turn smart as well. Switch them on or even get a motion alert through the Mirai app. There is also a new smart doorbell that tells you who's at the door through a video, wherever you might be and it even does a short video recording on detecting motion around the door. The app offers 7 days of free storage for the videos on cloud, so there is no hassle of phone storage with this app. What is going to be, let's say, the life of a Mirai customer in a day? How will my life be different from a person who is not a Mirai customer? That's an excellent question. We went and understood that what customers expect basic IoT technology to do for them, so comfort and convenience. Then we tried to understand that within their lifestyle, within their living spaces, what are the challenges which they face on a day-to-day -day basis? So imagine a situation that you are in a month of July and August when summer is sort of phasing out. In this situation, when you go to bed in the evening, you face a situation that you feel little warm and you keep the temperature of the air conditioner as lower as possible. Then after a while, you start to sort of face a bit of chill and then you wake up in the middle of the night and you change the temperature of your AC. And for a lot of customers, they again sort of wake up during the early morning hours and again they either switch the AC off or change the temperature yet again. Now we are going to solve that problem by way of uh, letting those air conditioners getting connected and individuals to be able to customize their sleep patterns. So that then is the show for the week. I told you brand new things happening, new innovation, new technology, new R&D that's coming in. But do remember, this continues into next week where we'll show you some interesting startups, including the Jetpack Man. Watch out for him. <laughs>